Hello, my 3D printer peeps. I'm here again with the Epic Creality Ender 5 Max. And we are going to take another look at the Infinity Flow 3D S1 Auto Filament Changer. For smoother operation of the Auto Filament Changer, I have disabled the Ender 5 Max runout sensor and connected the tool heads Bowden directly to the S1's Bowden using a coupler. Let's have a look at that. I was unable to remove the Bowden tube from the runout, so I simply clipped it off. I then took the tube from the S1 and the tube from the Ender 5 Max and used this included buffer that came with my S1 auto filament changer and simply pressed them together. This makes for a much smoother transition from the S1 Bowden to the main Bowden running to the Ender 5 Max tool head. This is very important because if there is resistance here, the S1 auto filament changer will falsely detect the hot end and stop. It's very important that there is no friction or interruption during this transition, which is what was happening with me here on the filament runout sensor. The friction of the sensor was causing the S1 to falsely detect the hot end and stop feeding. You want to put the first color in first. The machine will begin to feed that color. Once that color begins to feed, you can load the next color. I'm going to load the red into the tube until it grabs. The light will be blue on the active color, yellow on the pending color. All right, with the silk silver printing nice, let's go ahead and run out and switch to the red. Here we are printing with the silver. Let's go ahead and run out. The silver has run out. The light on the run out spool has turned red and the light on the new spool has turned green. And you can see the auto changer has begun feeding the red spool. Red filament has entered the tool head and once it makes it through the extruder and through the nozzle we will start seeing that backup filament indicated by the red on our articulated bat. And there it is. A perfect transition from a run out spool to a fresh spool. And there it is, the Infinity Flow 3D auto filament changer moving successfully from an empty roll to a fresh roll. Remember, you can do this on any printer that you are able to install a complete PTFE run from the filament changer to the tool head. Infinity Flow does provide a few adapters for machines whose tool head need them, such as the Prusa MK4S. However, most machines simply need the Bowden tube from the tool head connected to the Bowden tube at the Infinity Flow 3D. That's all I've got for you today. You're on 3D Rundown.